Aqua Glow Ball bases. These are like primers, new primers by Marmond. They are so cute. There's a green one, 01, which I assume is for correcting redness. And then there's a gold, which has actual flex. Gold, and let me see if you can see it. I'm gonna try the gold one, of course. Make a face that illuminates the complexion for a dewy glow <clears throat> and makeup ready skin. It does say too much may ruin your makeup and make it thicker, so an adequate amount is required. A slight sort of dewy sheen to the skin. I'm going to leave this for touch-ups when I'm out. It looks beautiful, but yeah, I'm pretty certain this is not going to stay on the whole day. Light coverage. I'm not building too much because I have a feeling it's just gonna slide off. Most cushions don't really set. Okay, I have the new radiant corrector for eyes as well. Oh, oh, oh here it comes. these creamy concealers and pen types tend to go on and then sort of dissolve and rub foundation below away. This one doesn't. Mm. I actually really like this. I'll have to see how much I like this over the day but this is a win. This isn't new. Tried it yesterday. Really liked it. Dry blender. So I don't want to pick up too much powder today. I think off in the back of my hand. It mattifies, but it's lightweight, doesn't add like a heavy powdery texture. Okay, for brows, I'm gonna be trying Harris Brow Designer Powder Pen. I've never seen this, so... Hmm. Hmm. Oh, so both have these sponge tips. It's kind of annoying to have to keep dipping back. Pigmentation is actually pretty nice if you want soft looking brows. Don't expect precision though. you will never, never get sharpie brows. It's impossible. So if you have a friend who does sharpie brows, buy this one. Is this kind of nice for cleaning up the brow bone? But I would imagine after a while, this is gonna get all brown. Queen Queen by Zoeva. Mirror motif. Using 
small shading brush from H&M. I'm just tracing the outer socket, the V area. If you're expecting very metallic, very strong colours, I would skip this. If you want sort of like a pretty romantic soft colour scheme, it's not bad. It's pretty nice. Khaki liner. Sephora Cookie Crunch. connect on the lower lid up at the same angle and then connect it in on the upper lid. Perfect can I going back in with this sparkly colorful eyeliner waterproof from Sephora as well. What is this called? Number 12. Sort of a matching colour, but a lot more intense. Just gonna lay it flat down and, lay it and trace over the pencil earlier. Along the wing. Let it dry before I curl my lashes because this will take it all off. This isn't a new product, but I haven't worn it a lot. Sleek's blush in rose gold, which is technically a dupe for Nars Orgasm. It's a gorgeous coral pink. something that's new to me. Face Designing Highlighter by Hera. Very pale, champagne, sort of beige colour. Yeah, that's soft pearl glow. It reminds me of Laura Mercier's Matte Radiance highlighters, where it's really fine-grained and it doesn't emphasise texture, which is really nice. Which is not very good always. Just 
And let's get out of the box. Four hundred percent more volume on a single stroke. Let's see what other claims are there. One hundred percent saw instant volume. One hundred percent saw no smudging. Ninety-four percent saw longer lifted lashes. Buildable weightless ultra black formula won't smudge or flake. Doesn't say that it's waterproof, which is good for me. Beautiful heavy case. It's really heavy. A little bit of clumpiness at the tips, but I can work with it. Hmm. Let's see if this versus this eye. My lashes do look nice, a little messier than I like them. It does coat and magnify every lash, but sometimes it just groups them together and clumps them. Which I don't love that much. Last thing, lips. Okay, my mom has a new highlight lip tint matte, which I've not tried. I have high hopes for this. Matte ink. I love this color, oh my god. completely weightless. There's no texture. You've tried the Rougeois, Rouge Edition Velvets. This has a sort of similar feel except it dries down a lot faster, so that's a good thing. It doesn't feel heavy, it doesn't feel dry, it's not emphasizing lines on my lips. A plus. Plus. That's it for my face today. If you guys have tried anything recently that you love, please share it below. Tell me what you like, what I should try out. Please share it in the comments below. I don't know. See you in the next video.